ask you, well, it seems like every year electronics top the list of holiday items, things like smartphones, laptops, tablets, of course, the list goes on and on. But to get the most out of those items, of course, you need to get a strong internet connection. Otherwise, you could be in the middle of binge watching your favorite show on Netflix and it could freeze up. So joining me this morning to offer some tips for making sure that doesn't happen to you is Michelle Gilbert from Comcast. So glad you're here. Thank you. All right. So, you know, a lot of people think, including myself, that when something goes wrong or things start to slow down, uh, what's wrong with my service? Exactly. But you're saying that's not always the issue. It's not always the issue. There's several things that people don't realize. First of all, this is a router that's probably hidden in your office upstairs in a corner. Maybe it's tucked away in a bookshelf. It might even be on the floor. Yeah, mine's, the, under, mine's right. under the office desk on e the floor. <laughs> exactly, and that's exactly where you don't want it. Why's you that? actually want it out in the open mm -hmm. because the router, you want the router, the signal to bounce off the walls in your house so that it can spread the wealth across the home where you need it, mm -hmm. to the upstairs level, to your basement. If it's hidden in a corner, it can't spread that signal as easily. In addition to that, some of the devices we have here that a router, we tend to sit a router next to, whether it's a DVD player, a TV player, even next to your cordless phone, mm -hmm. it could cause some interference, which could also impact your signal. Okay, and you've even got just even a, a fish tank here. So if it's, I do. If it uh, can't really go through the water is what you're saying there, it, huh? Yeah, and most people don't realize that, but if you have a router sitting next to a fish tank, the signal will not easily transmit through the water. Similarly, if you've got it out in a space where there are windows all around, mm -hmm you're going to send that signal right outside your house, which is not necessarily what you want. So instead of maybe trying to conceal it, we really want to keep it out in the open to right. maximize. Exactly. Okay. Somewhere out in the open, not next to a bunch of other electronics, not hidden, uh, so that it can spread the signal across your home. Okay, so at the beginning, you know, we were talking about a lot of people just getting, you know, so many uh, devices right. for the holiday. So yeah. you may be in one home with multiple devices. Is that going to affect the speed and the service? Sure. Sure, it could, and the reason behind that, and there's two things you really need to ask yourself. One is, how many devices are you connecting in your home, and how are they being used? And it, think of it also, it's not just the devices that your family has, but who's coming over? I know I've got an 11-year-old, and every single time she's got friends come over, the first thing they ask is, what's your Wi-Fi password? Right, right. So you've got a lot of devices that are coming into your home using your bandwidth, and think of it as a faucet. The more you churn it, the more speed you have. But everybody pays for a certain plan mm -hmm. based on what they need. If your needs have changed, you might need to look at changing your internet plan. Okay, so just give them a call and just see because obviously there are different right. ranges. Right, regardless of who your internet service provider is, we all offer different rate plans to meet your needs. So you might just want to make sure that you've got the right plan. All right, great information. Thank you so much for coming in today, My Michelle. My pleasure. All right, well, after the break, Chris Edwards is going to take a look at today's forecast.